And we have some of the hottest memorabilia items going up for sale here in the studio right now. Joining me right now, the executive director for Julian's Auctions, Martin Nolan. And Martin, great to see you again. Pleasure. Always Thank good you so to be much here. for being here and bringing everything. Thank uh, you. So, first, tell us about this blaster from Return of the Jedi. Yes, absolutely. An amazing piece. It's the uh, Blastec DL44 Han Solo Harrison Ford Blaster. I'm going to lift it up here. And it's just a spectacular piece. Oh, wow, piece. look at that. That so is cool. May, it comes directly from James Shoppy, who was the creative director of the movie in 1983, the third in the, in the trilogy of Star Wars, Return of the Jedi. So this is a really fantastic piece. Great po provenance, 300 to 500,000 for this piece. Wow, and okay. And that's conservative. Oh. Star Wars fans, they love their toys. Yeah, they sure do. $300,000 <laughs> is a starting bid. Absolutely. Then they've got the axe used by the Ewoks yes. in The Return of the Jedi. That's e also available, e right? E that axe. Yeah, that axe is a wood handle, leather straps, and that's a foam like, you know, sharp that's edge. That's very cool. Really cool. When, how much will that go for you? So think? that's more conservatively priced in a range of five to seven thousand. So that's like affordable and it's a really cool piece. Okay, so we got it estimated at 7,500 there. We have a, a Superman costume, the cape worn by the late Christopher Reeve in Superman 3. Tell us about this item. Yeah, so this is really cool, Superman 3, and of course you notice it's sort of a darker red on the cloak yeah, nice. and on the, the blue is a darker blue. It's because he played the evil Superman. This is the costume he wore oh, when right. he was the evil Superman. So again, highly sought after, highly collectible, estimated twenty to thirty thousand. Just a great piece. Again, Superman is highly collectible. Twenty to forty thousand is your estimated conservatively, uh, Maria. Okay, Marilyn Monroe fans can also bid on a, a check signed by the iconic actress. Tell us about this check. Yeah, May twenty sixth, the anniversary almost coming up. Paid out to Heather Rostin, who was a dear friend of Marilyn, and it's nineteen sixty one in New York, and we estimated three to five thousand. Again, because it's Marilyn. Marlin's signature. It comes from Marilyn Monroe's bank. Collectors love that. Marlin, of course, is loved all over the world. Highly collectible. Very cool stuff. And then you brought one of the robes of the late Hugh Hefner, known for wearing robes all the time. That's going up for auction. Tell me yeah, about that robe. So Hefner. <laughs> and he donated this actually to a charity auction years ago. And now it comes back to us at Julian's Auction. We're selling all these items at Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino in Las Vegas on June 23rd. Is that a silk robe? It's a silk robe, of course. Hugh Hefner, oh, the only one. <laughs> Two to three thousand. The heft lives on the cloak, and people will want to own something from his life and career. Very cool. Yes. Now, of course, we've got the Playboy Bunny waitress outfit. That's from the 1970s, also hitting hitting the block. So. This is the waitress outfit. I don't even want to show you the back. I can't even imagine how anybody wore this in the back. But, but tell me about this. Maria, there's something for everyone yeah, in this exactly. auction. So this is really great. And the really amazing thing about this, this is comes from this is Valerie Voss. She was the meteorologist on CNN. She was the weather lady right. on CNN. But before that, 73, 74, she worked in the Playboy Bunny Club. So again, mm -hmm. it's just an amazing piece. And Valerie's still going, of course. And wow, it's just you know highly collectible as well. I don't see the bunny. Money tail. Usually they had the money tail. Yes, we're missing the bunny tail, but okay. the rest is, looks fantastic. We have the cuffs, the ears. But and obviously, the it comes well. with the bunny tail. The whole bunny outfit is. Actually, yes, but we couldn't attach it to the the mannequin. That, that's yes, okay. Yes, so we leave that to your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff! Another it's, successful auction you're expecting. Tremendous, huh? and you know these items are becoming more and more collectible. There's a lot of money around now, Maria, and people are buying their toys and to see these as assets, investment assets, because over time they'll appreciate in value. And from Star Wars, that's a hugely successful franchise. Has over 40 items going on the auction block, all from the creative director, oh, James Oh, wow, Sharpie. 40 items just from Star Wars. Just from well, Star you've, Wars alone. You've, had, you've brought us many different items. How does Hollywood memorabilia compare to, like, rock and roll, for example? So rock and roll is absolutely major at the top of the food chain, but very close second would be Hollywood, and especially when you have such major items from Star Wars. The Star Wars collectors are truly fanatical about their items, and when you get something with such solid provenance, they're going to pay big money. And this actual blaster, Han Solo blaster, yeah. could sell for upwards of a million dollars. Wow. Oh, we're going to be watching that So it's going to be really a fun Martin, auction. thank you so much for bringing Pleasure. these expensive Always items. Great. And Martin Nolan joining us there. Check out the auction.